So friends, I wonder if you have ever had this experience. You go to a weekend retreat or a conference or a training of some kind, and you're guided through a really powerful experience where you learn things, you experience things that have great impact on you. You can clearly see the connections between what you're experiencing and learning in this space and how that would apply to your daily life. There's a container that's created around this time, perhaps it's taking place over a weekend, that feels powerful and strong as if the whole rest of the world is dissolved away and it's just you, your fellow participants, and your guides through this incredible experience. You get to the end of this experience and you're certain that you're going to implement everything you've learned and experienced in your daily life. You're gonna stay in touch with those amazing people that you made connections with, with the instructors and with the teachings. And then the weekend ends and you step back into your daily routine, back into the distractions of life, back into the complexity of a life that's not so carefully curated inside of a strong container. And it begins to be less and less easy to see the clear connections between what you experienced in that incredible opportunity and your day-to-day -day life. And maybe you connect with those folks that you met a couple of times, but those connections too become less strong once you are outside of that container. I've had this experience over and over again. And I have to be honest, it's really frustrating. <laughs> and yet, when I chose to step into the role of a teacher of the system of Reiki, I found myself duplicating that model until recently. Friends, welcome back to Heartscapes, where we're learning the system of Reiki to be rooted, to be spacious, to be connected, and to remember ourselves. My name's Michaela. Welcome back to the studio. So last year, I made a major change to the way in which I teach and share the system of Reiki. This change touched every corner of my business, every corner of this teaching space, including this YouTube channel. And while I've touched on aspects of that change in past videos, I just wanted to sit down with you and share a little bit about um, how we are structuring our teaching here at Heartscapes and why we find this to be a more powerful, effective, way of sharing Reiki with you and with those who feel called to engage on a deeper level. So when I chose to take on teaching of the system of Reiki, I actually had a pretty good model to follow that blended that weekend structure that is so common in our society, where we have these two or three days out of the week to devote to our extracurriculars outside of the work day. And oftentimes that makes a lot of sense to put these kinds of trainings, retreats, conferences, experiences into that weekend model. Logistically, it makes a lot of sense. But as we experience in life, um, as I described in our opening, um, that model isn't necessarily effective for actually taking on a powerful learning experience into our daily life. It's simply not long enough. It's not enough spaciousness, enough time to integrate what we are experiencing. So we have this intense flash of experience that might impact us quite a bit, but it becomes very challenging to actually integrate that experience into our daily life. So my first teacher um, of the system of Reiki uh, had a pretty great solution to that, um, one that is used by a lot of teachers, which is that she ran a community of practice so that once you have completed a training with her, you can meet monthly with other practitioners and continue the conversations, the learning, the practice together. And so it made a lot of sense to me to adopt that model when I started teaching. And we still have a community of practice that meets monthly um, to this day, six years later. We meet every third Saturday of the month um, online and in person here in the studio. I'll leave information for how you can get involved with that down below. And that um, model of having a community of practice, a community of support and continued engagement um, is one I strongly recommend, particularly for those who are going to be teaching anything of any substance in a weekend model. 
it gives a little bit more space. It extends that container a little bit more. However, it's still a diffused model because in that community of practice space, you can't possibly dive into depth in, you know, around much of anything, really. It becomes a space where you kind of repeat practices and short teachings um, because the container is limited. And so when I began to really focus wholeheartedly on teaching the system of Reiki from its Japanese origins, there was this nervousness that came up for me because I, I was aware that there was so much more context and structure and um, technique that was going to need to be imparted to students when we are diving deep into the origins of this system. The Western form of Reiki is a relatively limited form. It leaves out a great deal of context, practices, history, culture, um, and just a lot of depth as far as where this practice came from, what the foundations of the practice are, and why those things matter to our daily life and to our relationship with the practice. And I began to feel that teaching this really quite deep, elegant system of practice with such deep roots inside of a culture that is not my own, that squeezing that into a weekend model with then monthly one hour gatherings was out of integrity with the practice. And it was out of effectiveness too. It just, there wasn't enough time to really do what you deserve as a learner and what this system deserves. And so we made a major decision last year to transition our teaching to a year long model. Now this is a big change to shift from a series of three weekends to learn the three levels of the system of Reiki to an entire year container. And I wanna share why we did that and what we are already seeing as the impact of that change now that we're entering into our third cohort of this system. We are now open for enrollment for the next round of uh, participants in our year program. And again, we're just seeing so many different amazing results from the first two cohorts um, that I wanted to share with you. So we can really look at this in terms of the purpose and the value of making this change from a weekend model to a year container in the principles that I open every video with, which is that we're practicing the system of Reiki to be rooted, to be spacious, to be connected, and to remember ourselves. And this structure comes directly from the energy system concept that is central to the system of Reiki from its Japanese perspective, which is known as the three diamonds. This is a version of the internal energy system, um, which in Indian culture, is understood as the chakra system. Many cultures have different ways of understanding what we recognize as an internal energy system, many ways of um, thinking about how it operates, working with it, and practices that align with those particular perspectives. And in Japan, it's the three diamond system. We have three primary energy centers that we work with in a particular order, beginning in the low belly with the hara, this is the first diamond that helps us to be rooted, keeping our feet planted on the ground and accessing all of the resources that come from our intimate relationship with the earth. So from the perspective of the first diamond, our rooted and grounded place. We wanted this new teaching system to give people a solid structure of rootedness, a foundation that was wide enough, big enough, deep enough to support a lifelong practice. We wanted to give you, the learner, the opportunity to root into your own practice, to root into the roots of the system of Reiki, and to give those roots plenty of space to grow. It's fundamentally out of respect for you as a learner and for this system that is growing out of foundations of cultural and spiritual practice that are centuries, in some cases, millennia old. 
It simply needs a wider, broader, and deeper foundation to stand upon if we're going to do justice to our own learning, to the ways in which the system comes alive in our life, and to the origins of the system itself. And so a year-long program where we take eight weeks to work with Reiki One, and then a nice spacious integration period where people can do one-on-ones, can do special topics classes, can just be in their practice in their own way. And then another eight weeks with Reiki Two, really diving deep into the rich, rich material that we find in Okuda and Reiki Two. And then another period of integration, one-on-one sessions, connecting with each other, taking special topics classes, and then 12 weeks of Reiki 3 Shimpiden before one final integration period and a closing retreat. So that's kind of the structure of our full year. That cadence takes place over a full 12 months. And we have found that this gives that deep, wide, broad foundation that we need to really build this practice into our life and to honor it appropriately. From the the rooted, grounded place in our first diamond, we then move to the second diamond in the head. And this is the territory of spaciousness, of wide open vision and possibility. It's where we connect to the space above and around us, as well as the spaciousness within us. We bring that into harmonious balance with that strong foundation below. We can think of it as like a tree where you've got those deep, wide roots, and then the canopy of the tree can open up to the degree that the roots are spread below. So you have this symmetry between the rootedness and the spaciousness. And so working with the second diamond in the head gives us that connection to all that is spacious and broad and wide open above and around us as well as within us. It's the territory of vision, of possibility, of um, openness, and it's where we build our capacity to hold many, many, many conflicting sometimes ideas, emotions, experiences. It's where we can feel ourselves to be big enough to possibly consider the possibility that we are connected to all of life. So from the perspective of the second diamond, we wanted this learning experience that we invite people into to be spacious, to have plenty of room to adjust, to shift, to um, bring in spontaneous things that come up. We, t- we call this working with the curriculum in the room. So in a weekend class, there's a very tight schedule that you have to keep because you've got a lot of curriculum that you need to go through and you have a very short period of time. And so it um, is very difficult to incorporate Uh, things that the participants bring in that are of importance to them that are outside of the specific curriculum on the page, Um, adjusting to current events, adjusting to things that are happening outside of the spaces but that are alive for the participants. We wanted there to be enough space to incorporate what the participants bring into it, what they know, what they learned, what they want to share, what has heart and meaning to them. And what we find is that there is plenty of room inside of this system for that. We're able to devote entire class periods to content that comes up in the moment. We can pivot and shift according to how people are feeling and what they're dealing with in their lives on a given day. We can uh, create special topics classes during those integration periods that again, respond to um, things that we couldn't have anticipated in the beginning. So there's lots of spaciousness for adjusting and welcoming in the mysterious and the unexpected. And because the foundation of the system is so strong, we have a very um, firm and I believe well-designed structure of this year program. It's strong enough to hold all of this shifting and pivoting in this spacious container. Similarly, there's lots of space to bring in so much more context from the Japanese origins of the system. We get to play with um, you know, practices that aren't necessarily explicitly inside of Reiki, but that are inside of the 
the traditions that developed Reiki. Uh, we work with Buddhist chants and mantras. We work with nature-based practices that come through Shinto. We explore the connections between those practices and the lineages and ethnic heritages of the people in the room. I've done a lot of work connecting the nature-based Shinto practices that undermine the system of Reiki and the nature-based Celtic practices from my own lineage. And we do a lot of exploration of those types of connections with the people who are present. Um, and all of that gives us that room to envision what particular special magic is going to come through a given cohort, a given experience. And each one becomes very different, very unique, very customized to the people who are there. Finally, we want this system and we're finding that this is true to be rooted in the third diamond, which is the heart. This is the territory of compassionate connection. This is the territory of deep and abiding love and compassion for ourselves, for each other, for the world, for all life that there is in our experience. And when we come into the third diamond, after balancing the first and the second, we find ourselves stable enough, rooted enough, and then spacious enough to welcome in true abiding compassion. And this takes time. It takes time for us to truly build up these sensations, these shifts in mindset, these shifts in habit that help us to really embody these principles of, of experiencing ourselves as being stable, rooted, um, well-held, fundamentally safe in our bodies and on the ground so that we can then open up and feel spacious and look at longer term vision and open ourselves to possibility, make more room inside for things that might have felt scary or difficult. And then finally, with all of that foundation laid, coming to that space of compassionate connection. And that includes compassionate connection to the system of Reiki itself, that includes compassionate connection to each other as co-learners, as uh, journeyers together in this endeavor. And it includes compassionate connection to our lives, to the day-to-day -day challenges and joys of our life. And again, it takes time to build these things up. What we've also found as we have transformed the structure of teaching the system of Reiki in this formal way through this year program transitioning away from a weekend model is that it ripples out into the other ways in which we connect with folks and share the system of Reiki, including this YouTube channel. And so when we made this change, it began to make a lot more sense to make this channel a more robust space for conversation, for teaching, for learning, that this space could come alongside the year program as a place where people can engage um, at a, a much more self-paced way, um, a way that works um, on your own timing, uh, you know, just this different model for um, being with the system of Reiki. Um, I have greatly benefited from learning from other YouTube channels in a wide variety of areas. And I just really wanted this to be a space that provided value to those who are both in our, you know, committed to the longer program and those who may never engage with the year program or any of our other classes, but who want to have a consistent touch point where you can learn and absorb information about the system of Reiki from its origins. Because this has really become a sweet and for me treasured space for just sharing the way in which the system of Reiki is alive in my life and in the lives of the people that I work with um, in ways that I couldn't have imagined before. Uh, you know, when you're working only inside of kind of a structured curriculum where you have things that you need to teach in a particular order, you know, again, we allow for a lot of spaciousness inside of, of our teaching model. But here on YouTube, I've found that I can, you know, be experiencing something, noticing something in my life and 
in a way that I never would have been able to capture in a class that would be taking place, you know, maybe months from now. I can grab the camera, I can jump on here with you, and I can just share how the system of Reiki is impacting me in a given moment, in a given challenge, a given decision. And um, I have found a lot of value in doing that. It's valuable to me to be able to track those things, um, to be able to look back on these videos and track my own experience, my own progress through Reiki. And based on the conversations that we've gotten to have here on this channel, it seems like there's value to you as well. Similarly, I've been able to be much more responsive in the um, classes that I hold. We hold a monthly free community class that um, is open to anybody with any interest in these topics. And again, those topics are really rooted in how is Reiki coming alive in my life and in the lives of the people that I work with. So it's a space that's very responsive to your feedback, to your input, to your questions. Um, and it's really, you know, where we endeavor to um, demonstrate the ways in which the system of Reiki is very, very relevant and beneficial in our daily life. I say it often, if our spiritual practice is only available to us during those times when we set aside time to be in the practice, then it's of limited value to us. Uh, we need it to be alive and accessible in our day-to-day -day life, in the mundanities and the challenges and the joys of our day. And so um, I found that both this YouTube channel and our monthly free class has been a fantastic way to explore that for myself and for others and to share it with you in a very accessible way that is of no cost. Um, so, you know, I'm finding that just making that one change, uh, a pretty significant change, but still a single change from one model of teaching to this other model of teaching has had these ripples throughout the whole um, enterprise that is Heartscapes Reiki. The whole community really um, because it's opened us up to so much more engagement direct feedback and direct responsiveness with those who are on this journey with us and that has really um, been exciting for me and valuable i think to the people who are moving through this space so I just wanted to share that structure with you, a little bit of the reasoning of why we made this change. And for those of you who perhaps have only encountered these videos, um, just let you in on a little bit more of what we're doing here at Heartscapes. As I said, our enrollment is now open for the next cohort of the year program. We uh, invite people to participate just in the first class if you want to just have that initial experience and make your decision about doing the longer full journey after that experience people are welcome to do that and that class begins um, in july 2023 uh, if you're watching this video after july 2023 you can check the website for the next um, timing we launch cohorts in july and in january of each year so friends, thank you for listening. Thank you for, uh, if you've gotten this far in the video, um, for you know your interest in what we're doing here at Heartscapes and how it might benefit you. Um, we are always very open to suggestions for topics, for videos, for classes, and I welcome your questions about any of what I have shared here. And as you journey through the rest of your day, through whatever questions you are leaning into today, May you be deeply provisioned for it. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I love you. Goodbye.